Welcome to this video on Exploring in VR, where I'll be explaining how to use the Oculus Quest 2 and some of its applications for the K-12 classroom. Hello there, my name is Rebecca Swanson. I am a current graduate student in Learning Design and Technology at North Carolina State University. Today's objectives for this video are to introduce the hardware of the Oculus Quest 2. I'll be giving some recommendations for ease of use. Some of these recommendations will make it easier for your learners to be comfortable while using the Oculus Quest 2. I will also be going into the actual VR headset and showing you how to use the menus and the user interface. I will be including how to set up your boundary for use and how to access different apps. I want to then move on to showing some applications that can be used across the curriculum. I've included some apps that can be viewed in the science or social studies classroom and also a language app. The intent for this video is for middle and high school grade teachers to view this as an instructional video on how to use a VR headset in the classroom and come away with some ideas for their own curriculum. The Oculus Quest 2 is a VR headset from Meta that includes a headset and two controllers. Some recommendations include getting the Elite Strap. It is an optional strap accessory that can be hooked to the Oculus Quest 2. There is a spacer and an adjustable headband so that you are much more comfortable. It also holds the weight of the actual headset better than just the standard strap. Make sure that students have lots of room to move around. They will be setting their own boundary when going into the headset, but make sure there are no objects around for students to encounter when they are actually using the set. Make sure that students are also using the straps on the controllers. It is easy to accidentally fling those, so it is essential that you use the straps. Now that we're actually in the headset, I will be showing you some setup and also some ways that you can use the user interface. As you can see, I am in the 3D world. Uh, there are many different environments that your students can select from to make the environment inside of the headset their own and they can customize what they're seeing. It is a full 360 degree view inside of the home space when you first log in. There will be a menu when you log in at the bottom and you can actually adjust where this is found. You will be able to see that you have the controllers in hand. We're going to talk about the buttons on the two different controllers. The right controller has a control stick and an A and B button. There are also two trigger buttons. The trigger button at the back is the one that you're going to be using the most to select objects and to do inputs. However, the one on the inside is also useful for moving around menus. The left has much of the same functionality, however it has an X and Y button. These will be different depending on the apps that you are using. There is also a menu button on the left controller and an Oculus button on the right controller. The menu button can be used within apps to get their menu pulled up and the Oculus button can be used to exit the app. Let's talk about the menu here. There is a button on the far left for accessing settings. There is an explore button for seeing recommended apps. There is a store button for buying applications, a people button for socials, and a sharing button where students can take pictures or video to share with you or to keep on the device. I would make yourself at do not disturb and not worry about the people tab with students. In settings, you can see that we are selecting things with the trigger button. And within settings, there are a lot of different things that you can adjust, including the audio, the brightness. You can turn on a night mode for those who are sensitive to light. You can also turn on and off the microphone for recording. When you do share a recording, it will not pick up mic within the actual headset, however. And there I have set it to do not disturb so that we do not have to worry about the socials part. 
The next thing that you can do is set up the guardian boundary. This will prevent you from running into objects. You can set this boundary yourself and you can also set up the stationary boundary if you are sitting. You can also view your profile and you can also set up notifications from the menu right next to this one on your main menu bar. You can move the small menu around by pointing at the white bar at the bottom and dragging it using the trigger button. The same can be done on the left controller as well using the same button. Now we'll be using the trigger button to explore apps. If you click on the blue button, you can see different apps and you can scroll using the control stick on either the right or the left controller. I searched for educational apps and found several free apps on the explore tab but you can also go into the store tab these are going to be paid applications so i don't necessarily recommend going there first one of the applications i will be showcasing is a paid application however it's not always necessary to get paid apps to find good quality educational apps on this headset with this menu showed up i do want to show you that you can use the same white bar to move both menus, not just the smaller one. And this makes it easy to adjust the size and the location of the different menus and students may find this useful for better viewing within the actual applications. In the sharing part, as mentioned earlier, students can save both photos and videos. There is also a casting option I would say this is great for use in the classroom as students can record or take screenshots of their evidences that they are doing their assigned tasks and show some of their learning within the headset. Next I'm going to show you how to set up the boundary so that you can show students how to effectively do this. It's not going to show the room that I'm in because of how the videoing works but you will actually draw your boundary on the floor and you'll see a blue line that shows that I'm actually drawing. Once you're finished and you have selected your boundary, you can confirm it. It will also warn you if there are objects within your boundary. Next, we'll be talking about different applications I recommend. First up is Mondly. This is a language practice app in VR, and you can use this to differentiate language instruction as it has three different levels. And it's great for independent practice with speaking vocabulary and conversations. There are a lot of different languages to choose from and you will select one of the languages on this part of the menu with the trigger button just like in other applications for this i'm going to leave it as english but i'm going to select learning spanish and here's where you can differentiate instruction there's a beginner intermediate and advanced option when you actually get into the application you'll see that there is a vocabulary section and a conversation section we're going to look at the conversation section first there are several different scenarios included and if you start at the first one it will actually give you a tutorial and will walk you through all of these. To exit you will just quit the app and then start at the next lesson that you're on the next time that you log in. There is an ability to switch between beginner, intermediate, and advanced right here. There's also on the vocabulary tab several different basic vocabulary types that you can practice. Okay, when we are actually into the app, you can see that there is a person for you to talk to and it gives you what they said and a translation on the left. On the right, it actually gives suggestions for what you can say. Buenas tardes. You can listen to the pronunciation of these different options. Buenos dias. Hola. You can close that menu and reopen it. You can also close what she has said and reopen it as well. You can also listen Buenos again dias. to what she said and slow Buenos it down. Dias. In order to record, you will just tap and hold 
and as you can see, I'm saying buenas tardes to her. ¿Cómo se llama? You'll then continue this conversation, and I like that it gives you different options for what you will say to her. Now let's look at the vocabulary tab, and we're going to go straight to the second lesson, which is on space. Hello there. I have Thanks one caveat have. for this section. The way that she let's speaks is space. a little bit slow, it and there the sun, are a couple and all things. The planets that go around it included in the space facts that this are not quite solar correct. System. However, for the pronunciation Spanish, and the, the practice of basic vocabulary, I still think solar. this is a good now, section to please include. please repeat after me. El Sistema Solar. Just like in the conversation section, you, you will tap and hold you know to record what you are saying to her. Next, I will show you the blue planet. Next, we'll talk about the Anne Frank House in VR. This is a great app for looking at the context of World War II and the Holocaust. And also, if you're reading Anne Frank's diary or any other literature, you can use this for students to actually explore what this was like. There are two different modes, a story mode and a tour mode. Story mode walks you through the different rooms that Anne Frank and her family were staying in. You can also find some different features like subtitles, languages, and including the words for the quotes. You can turn these on or off dependent on student needs. We're going to look briefly at the tour section just so you can see how the app is used. This is the first room that you explore before you go into the place where Anne and her family were staying. As you can see, there are quotes on the wall. These will play quotes from Anne Frank's diary. You can also click on the floor with the feet to move forward within. There's interactive parts where you will actually move your hand and grasp things, and then you can go through doors in that way. Next, let's talk about YouTube VR. This is a great app for looking at YouTube videos in 360 degrees. They are more immersive, and you're able to look at different places that students might never travel to and make this like a virtual field trip. Let's go into the actual app. As you can see, there's 360 degree video. If you log into an account, you can also go to your subscriptions and you can just click on YouTube to get back to the main part. You can scroll down using your control stick, just like in other applications. There are several different types of videos. There are science videos, social studies videos. We are going to look briefly at the 360 degree videos. Most of these are going to be immersive videos showcasing different environments. I could see this being used in a science classroom to look at different ecosystems and environments around the world. We are going to look briefly at one example and you will find when we are in the example that you can look around a whole 360 degrees and it is like you are actually flying through the landscape. You can select the menu button or press B to get back into this menu to pause the video and you can press B again to go back into this. I also have two other app suggestions. Both of these would be great for a science classroom. These include Mission ISS or Ecosphere. First we'll look at Mission ISS. When you get into the actual app and past the section where the ISS flies over you, you will see there's a training section, missions, and explore. Training will show you how to actually use all of the different buttons and navigate the landscape, but the missions are what we're going to look at briefly. There are controls included on the side. We're mostly going to be using the ones that move us forward and rotate. It is also helpful to grab onto different objects to study yourself. 
I find this app really intriguing for the science classroom because this helps students to better understand how gravity works when you are in a satellite around the Earth. So as you can see, we're traveling through that space where we are weightless and you have to actually navigate through the ISS. Later, you would go on a spacewalk after you get into the actual spacesuit. Find the video link on one of the spacesuits and select it to get into your suit and begin EVA. As you can see, you rotate and move forward and it can be quite difficult even for students or for myself to navigate in here and it helps you to see what it's actually like. Next let's look at Ecosphere. This is an app where you can explore environments in somewhat the same way as YouTube VR. So this is actually in the app. You can select different locations around the world. You can turn the globe either by using the trigger button and flicking, or you can rotate it with your control stick. We're just gonna select Kenya here real fast. And it's going to open up a little mini sphere showing where you are. Immerse yourself in East Africa's vast grasslands. Encounter wild elephants and lions and meet the inspiring local communities that live with them. So this would be great for exploring different ecosystems, but also for talking about world cultures. You would just need to download these activities. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you got some great ideas for your classroom.